Okay, so in the last video, we managed to write out the code for the create function and we ran into this error. And this error, as I said, it's a Elasticsearch error because we don't have, have Elasticsearch running. So that's what we're going to talk through today. So if you go to github.com slash ankane slash search kick, you'll see the gem that we're going to use. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install Elasticsearch. And you could use do use homebrew to do brew install Elasticsearch and make it super easy. You add the line to your application file, and then you add search kick to the models you want to search using the search kick term, which we did use here using search kick. And you could add data uh, to the search index and query it. But I really want to point out search data. This search data method is really allows you to control what data is indexed like they say here so if you don't know what indexing is you can think of it as kind of like what you see in a dictionary if you don't or what you see in let's say any school textbook when you there's a topic that's under a category you would go to the back of the book to search for the index to find out what page that book or what page that information is in so that's the idea of indexing. It makes things super fast and makes things more efficient. To use indexing in our in our app makes things much quicker because right here we're indexing our location and our company name. So people can really just go look for search for the company name and get all the products that that are under that under that company by looking at the index you can find easily all the products that a company is selling or by looking at the location you can find all the products that are are under one location so say you're you're, you're in London in the UK then you would look for London in the UK and you'll find all the products that are being sold in London in the UK so that's what indexing is and because we're using geospatial indexing, then let's just go to our go use find and G, and look at geospatial searches. So that's what we're using, using search kick locations location and having this attributes merge location. We are searching by location. So we're gonna use our own location because if we're if we look in our our or contacts, you can see that we have we have saved our longitude and latitude and our products also have longitude and latitude so we'll match those in order to find out where in order to find all the products that are within our vicinity so we're gonna look at how this works when we actually create the catalogs page where we show all the products but I just want to explain it now that that's how we find out whether the products is within our range because the products have a longitude and latitude and us having our information connected to our contacts also have a longitude and latitude. So to run this thing, what you have to do, or to get rid of that error, what you have to do is you have to install it, install Elasticsearch in the first place, right? Because if you don't install it, let's go all the way up, if you don't install it, then you'll just keep on getting that error. So you install Elasticsearch, open another tab, maybe right beside your URL server, and open up another tab. And what you would do is you would you would run Elasticsearch. Actually, let's use this other one. You would run Elasticsearch dash s. So that means Elasticsearch start the engine. You always have to run it in order to get Elasticsearch to to work because it has to. It's a search server and has to run on a on a different different server than. Than our than our than our rail server because our rail server is running on port um, port three thousand and our our elastic search server will be running on port nine ninety two hundred. So doing that should, if I refresh the page, solve the error. So yeah, now we solved the error. Now we're getting another error that is totally unrelated to elastic search, but. There you go. I've explained elastic search for you to make it even more confusing. I, I hope I hope that you guys will actually look through this look through this documentation to get a better grasp of it. But once you get the grasp of it, then it's pretty cool stuff. So that's all I want to go through today for today. What is left with Elasticsearch is to actually go into our code 
and use it when we write our catalogs page to show users what items are available or to show customers what items are available for sale at this at, at, at the at the catalogs page which we have not written yet so other than that I hope everything is as clear as mud uh, please rate comment and subscribe if you haven't already leave comments and questions in the comment box and I'll help you when I can and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching